Hey friends, this is Anil. Uh, welcome to Tips by Anil. Uh, in this video, we will discuss how we, how we can create a layout. So, uh, in a layout in Xamarin, I will tell you first how to use the grid view. So, with the help of login form, I will create a login form inside a grid view. And uh, using that a login form, I will tell you complete a grid view detail. So now. Uh, I have created a document for you. So inside a document, I will tell you some points. So basically, first what we will do, we will create a login form. So once we will add any item in a view, so we have to add in in this uh, project, not in Android or not in iOS, because uh this is the page this is the view page that is used by android and it is used by ios also but the few things we need to add in both project and android and I, as well as in ios suppose that if we are using any kind of image inside a, a content page then that image we have to add in android project and as well as in ios project and where uh, where we will add that image in this resource section okay so here I'm going to create a view. Okay, now I'll just click on new item and here I will create a content form. So click uh, create login page, click on create. So now here you can see the login form has been created. Okay, now what I will do, I have already created a login form in my other application. So I will just paste that code over here. But don't worry, I will tell you every step one by one. So this is the grid and inside a grid, we have created a grid dot row definition means we are defining the definition for rows. What will be the height of that row? And here also you can define the width also but i have not defined that width you just click on grade dot column definition as similar as we have defined that grid definition grid row definition okay so here you can see height 50 and height a stick and height 50 what is this a stick what is a stick and also we can uh, here i can give one another option auto Okay, so what is auto asterisk and uh, 50? Here I have created a document for that. What is mean by auto? auto? Automatically size to fit content in the row or column means if you will define auto height of a row, it means if uh, height will be automatically fitted as a content. Uh, whatever content if a content is large the height will be large or if the content is short the height will be short okay <clears throat> and what is a proportional so in a proportional size column and rows are proportion of the remaining space is, is specified as a value uh, and grid in a type dot star in c sharp okay so what is it so suppose that uh, if the page page has a hundred percent and we have already uh, defined height uh, thirty percent and thirty percent in two rows and a third rows if we will define the proportional means remaining sixty percent will be occupied that uh, by that row okay and here is the absolute absolute means the fixed height okay so here you can see in that example also absolute height one one twenty sixty and eighty okay so it will divide to a page in 120 and 80 and 60 uh, percent accordingly okay and what is the auto height auto height means if uh, suppose that uh, we are defining 120 height here and 60 height here then whatever height uh, will be of your content will be, will be occupied by that auto height okay and what is the uh, proportional third third is star means proportional height so proportional height also we can define 50 percent 20 percent 30 percent uh, to that page so we have to just uh, write five star two star and three star means 50 percent 20 percent and 30 percent of that page okay <laughs> 
so one once again i will let you know the uh, definition of auto proportional and absolute absolute means we are defining a fixed height of a page and uh, uh, auto means uh, the height uh, will be fixed uh, as per the content okay if the content is short height will be short and the proportional means the remaining height of that page will be occupied in the proportional okay now we are uh, moving on our login page so here i have created three rows okay for first rows in a first rows you can see i defined a grid so inside a grid the grid is uh, saying that this height uh, this grid will occupy the first row of this grid okay so this is my first grid and this is the stack layout so i also created a stack layout in grid row second means in this in this row i have created a grid layout so means what is the star means star and what is the auto means i defined a auto means this grid contained the complete content will be uh, will occupied auto height means if the content is short height will be short if the content is large height will automatically large or the third uh, the second one is proportional means the remaining height of this page will be occupied by this stack layout okay and if i'll move inside this grid so here you can see i uh, also define height as take 50 50 or 20 40 so here uh, in uh, label one so this is the grid dot row one grid dot row two grid dot row three in so in a first row i defined a error message that if you will log in in uh, a screen then you can see if the credential is not valid then this label will give you a message that your uh, credential is not valid or this is the username entry and this is the password entry so the username entry is in second box in a third box this is the uh, uh, text box entry for your password okay and this is the image box so this is the image in any image you can see once you will type your password then there will be option to hide your password or view view your password okay so now in a next button you can see the btn login i have defined a id so x dot name is the uh, id actually of a button okay and here you can see this is the clicked control on a button logged in fine here you can see i defined a stack layout and inside a stack layout layout i uh, 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 just uh, define a button and inside a button you can see don't have login account sign up here so if i will move for the design of this page so the design will be loaded so here you can see this is my uh, login page and this is in uh, rotational mode if i'll do it vertical then you can see this is the vertical so here i defined login with anipra dance academy so basically i am creating this app for my dance academy i have my dance academy also so here you can see in so this is the source code and i can split the source code into two way to screen so i will tell you the steps you can see in my in in, in the label uh, i defined login with any prada dance academy so in the second in the second grid in a first grid first grid first row and first column you can see grid dot row l where error message this ma this message is hide is visually equal to false so it it's not able to uh, see on the screen and here is the username entry here is the password entry grid dot row 2 grid dot row 3 and this is the login button okay and here the Im image box image shadow is also false so this will also not visible on that screen okay so and this is the forget password button okay so once you will click on your android accelerator then uh, you can see that output of that screen okay now i just click on android uh, accelerator and also in my previous video i told you the you can either you can run your application in android accelerator 
accelerated or either you can run your application in your external device but sometime your design will not look like uh, good in your uh, internal emulator but that design uh, will uh, look like uh, uh, cool in your external device so i'll prefer that if you are debugging the application that every time you have to run you have to launch uh, your app inside a uh, external device okay so i'm getting the error password text change not found so basically for that error message uh, for that uh, show and hide image i have created a error uh, that uh, screen that will be visible so here i will go on login button page and here you can see password text change on a password text change i'll i added image dot source i had dot png okay so it uh, once you will click on that image it will uh, it will look like uh, show and hide password okay so here i'm going to remove this password text change and also click button so because right now i'm not going to do any kind of server code and also this password text chain so now after that if you will run then it will give you the proper output and from here here you can see this is the login page it will look like this okay so in my next video i will let you know how we will connect this login page with the sql server how we will enter a user id and enter a password to connect with server to check that user is validate or user is, is not validate and also i will let you know if the user is not already log, uh, registered then how you how we will create the registration page okay so i'll request you please subscribe my channels also so thanks for watching my video have a nice day bye bye